Now, of course, Abutai, HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent us prophets throughout the generations, but unfortunately, there are also false prophets. False prophets that sometimes had powers, false prophets that even today have power. Perhaps not the mystical powers of the past, but the power of speech, where they can convince people to go against the Shem while convincing them that they're actually doing a mitzvah. These false prophets are still here today, unfortunately. And of course, there are also good prophets. Where Kadosh Baruch Hu says, a prophet from your midst, from your brethren like me, Moshe Rabbeinu says, shall Hashem your God establish for you. To him shall you hearken. You always have to listen to the right prophets, not the false prophets. False prophets, what happens to the false prophet? But the prophet who willfully speaks the word in my name, that which I not command him to speak, or who shall speak in the name of the gods of others, that prophet shall die. Again, St. Pasha, Kadosh Baruch again tells us about how people get death penalty. 3,333 years of death penalties, but yet somehow people want to convince you that Hashem loves everybody and you shouldn't hate anyone. I'm not really understanding how somebody can claim to read the Torah and actually say such a stupid statement. 3,000 years of death penalties in the Torah instituted, commanded by us. And yet people say you should love everybody even if they hate God. You should love the reformers even though they're destroying the Torah and Am Yisrael already for a few hundred years. You should love them. Why should I love them? Oh, they're Jews. What makes them Jewish? What makes them Jewish? Oh, the Torah says if their mother is Jewish, then they're Jewish. Yeah, but the Torah that says that, they don't believe in that Torah. They don't believe the Torah is divine. They don't believe they have to follow the Torah. But we'll get to that in a moment. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said that these false prophets that say God needs you, these false prophets that say that Gehenom is only 12 months for everybody, no matter who you are, even if you're Adolf Hitler, if you're Mechalel Shabbat, if you waste seed, if you uh, committed adultery, if you uh, made all types of crimes, no matter what, maximum punishment is 12, 12 months. The Ramban, the Ramban, one of the Gdole Olam, one of the greatest sages that ever walked on the face of the earth, says in the uh, Sefil uh, that the uh, 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 um, person that says that Gehenom is limited to 12 months is 100% an apikos and has no share of the God of Israel. You can't count them in Minyan. You cannot count such a person in the Minyan that says that you have Gehenom is maximum 12 months. But can I learn Torah from him, Rabbi, even though he says that there's only 12 months Gehenom? I don't know. Ask the Ramban. Ramban knows better than me. I'm just learning. Ramban says you can't learn from him. In fact, Ramban says you can't even count them in Minyan. So you're still asking the same question of whether you should learn from him? But why is God so vicious? Why is that vicious? Why is that vicious? Well, I don't want to go to Gainon for 12 months. So don't so do tshuva. Don't make sins. Why does it have to be more than 12 months? The Ramban writes, the Ramban writes, Rabotaya Karim, and this is actually one of the places that's actually translated to English for anybody that uh, wants to uh, wants to read it. It's called Shara Gmul. It's the, the writings of the Ramban, Nachmanides. And uh, he says that saying that Hashem has given us a maximum sentence of 12 months of Genom turns him into Chasmah Shalom, an evil God. Why an evil God? Because if you're giving the same sentence to someone that desecrated Hashem's name, desecrated the Torah, desecrated Shabbat, and did all of these sins, as you do to somebody that made petty crimes, that's an evil God. And if you give the same sentence to somebody that violated Shabbat one time versus somebody that violated Shabbat a thousand times, that's an evil God. If you give the same sentence to somebody that murdered one person versus somebody that murdered a thousand people, the same sentence, that's an evil God. And we don't have an evil God. We have a just God. To say that a maximum sentence is 12 months, the Ramban says, means that the person is an apikos. person that believes that is a heretic, 100%. No question about it. And who's going to go against the Ramban? You with your little funny hat? Or your motorcycle? With your uh, long beard? Call yourself a chassid? With, uh, with your uh, Arab friends and your, and your Christian best friends? Who's going to go against the Ramban? That's what Torah says. And anyone that goes against the rabbis, 
Torah itself says that people like that get death penalty from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. 